got the diesel heater on. Powered. Battery is over there. I'll show you guys. Right now, I just, um, I'm excited that the heater is on. I'm excited that it's working. Like I said, it, it hasn't been up since May, probably. I'm gonna assume May 2020. Um, so, I put diesel in, I repaired the line, I put the new filter in that I got today, yesterday. Uh, I just connected to the battery, connected the battery to ground. Um, that's the only thing connected, is the heater. Yeah, I just wanted to get the heater running. That's most important when it's 20 degrees. So, with the heater running, um, that is phenomenal. So now I can, uh, I can relax. The heater works, I don't have to worry about, I mean, granted it's only been running for 10 minutes, but as of right now, it is working. I can feel it, it's getting hot in here. It's loud, I gotta get a muffler. Uh, there are parts that you can buy for these heaters. I bought a filter. Um, I also had a muffler in my cart. I, I don't know why I didn't check out. I think it's because I was thinking if there's anything wrong with this, this heater, if it doesn't fire or whatever, then I'll just buy a new one. Because maybe the muffler was, say, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. And a new heater, the whole entire kit, is going to be about $120. That's what I paid. I think I paid $115. So, yeah, I think I was holding off for this to get fired. So, tonight, or just a few minutes, I'll go in the house. I will order a muffler, um, a glow plug, um, little screens that need to be replaced, and um, hopefully I'll have some time. I can take it apart, service it. That would be a good feeling. And um, I would like to get a new control because the, the display dies. I'll show you. So it's like you have to look at this from an angle for it to get brighter. See, I'm looking at straight on right there it's black so that's a uh, right there that's the brightest it's gonna get and you're looking at it on an angle so if it's on the wall you can't see it so this is this has happened this has happened over time I've watched this happen when I first got it it was super bright dead on and um, you didn't have to look at it from an angle and then over time it just started to get dimmer but sometimes I would come in and it would be dim on all angles. So it always made me nervous. I didn't like that. It's, it's nice. It's a nice little feature. It's cool to have. And you know what? It's going to go right back up in its original clip. I'm not really doing anything. But, you know, it's, it's always a thing with me to like, um, I'm going to gut the van. I'm going to redo this. I'm going to build a wall here. And then as I'm doing it, yeah, I mean, I'm choked for time, and I don't want to, to be honest with you, but the reason I don't want to is because I'm having a hard time with the logic behind it. I lived in this van for a year and a half. I had no issues with the way things were, except... Right, being a chair height, so knees being at a normal height, and I'm sitting at, like, a table, a desk, with a computer on it. The chair I'm in right now, just a regular chair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my passenger seat. And it's funny because I didn't do it before because I was looking for, you know, the turnstile, the, the swivel. I just didn't want to have my seat turned around. I just wanted to maintain this. I don't know. As I'm saying it right now, it sounds so incredibly stupid to me. It's like, so you didn't want to have your passenger seat turned around. You just want to have a normal, and I mean, I, I get it. It makes sense to me. Just have a normal driver, normal passenger, facing the correct way. But I live here. Like, this is, who cares? So now it's going to be flipped around. I will have a desk set up here. I will sit in here, like my desk, my office chair. And I will sit at a desk with my laptop at a normal, you know, angle. My knee here, not on a bucket where I'm, Ooh, man. So that's that. This is loud. So just in case you don't know, I'm gonna go over the heater in detail, but just in case you don't know, they're very loud, kind of like, even like a residential furnace, it's the same thing. 
it's gonna stay like this until it comes up to temperature and then when it gets up to temperature this stuff is really hot it's really hot the, the air that comes out of here I don't know if you heard me because of the air but it's very 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 hot and uh, all right, so that case is, oh, all right, I gotta fix that. It's very hot. And I used to have it wrapped around like the leg on the bed and the smell of the wood, hot, the heated pine boards, getting really toasty against the, uh, the ductwork. Oh man, it used to make me really nervous. So I'm not worried about that. I, I dealt with it for a long time. I know it's not gonna burn, however, I'm still going to do a foil tape separation between the ductwork and the wood just because. So with all that said, my bed frame is in, done. I just need one more support over here and I'm going to put a couple in the middle. And uh, my heater is in. I could, I could, oh my God. I'm so excited to get back in my van, get out of this parking lot get out of this house and just get to where leave me alone land that's what I call it leave me alone land just right now I'm on people's property I am no longer an employee of this company I'm they give you 10 days to, to get out so I'm on like day two day three whatever Tuesday was my last day today's Wednesday so nine eight more days I'm not going to use up the whole eight days, but I can if I want to. And that's it. I'm officially unemployed. I'm officially moving back into my van. And I'm about to drive across the country in my van. I'm just... I'm very happy. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good, good place. All right, I'm going to shut up because this thing's loud. We'll talk later. i got so many other videos that I'm constantly recording. I think I, you know, I want to be serious about the YouTube thing and not post every six months. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.